Hello everyone, and welcome back to The Little Blue Fly. If this is your first time visiting, and you like what you see, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to press the bell and select all to be notified of my new postings. Today, I am excited to share my trash to treasure with you all. A few weeks ago, I met with a gentleman that no longer wanted this gilt-edged, broke, antique mirror. He was just going to simply rid of it. I just shook my head in complete amazement with the fact that he was just going to get rid of this beautiful piece. It was sitting in the corner of his garage, covered in aged dust. I seen the beauty in it right away and couldn't get it into my, my vehicle fast enough. I knew within the hour what I was going to do with this beauty. I was going to make a botanical mirror. With the purchase of an IOD transfer from jamierayvintage.com, I was well on my way to making this gentleman's trash truly my treasure. Brought it home, cleaned it up with some nice soap and water on the outside, Clean the mirror with some good old-fashioned white vinegar like Mama taught me to do. And now she is ready to be worked on. So that being said, let's begin, shall we? Just look at this gorgeous detailing on this frame. It is almost in mint condition. I'm going to do absolutely nothing with this woodworking right here. Just stunning. So much detailing. To me, something like this is like a once-in-a-lifetime find. Just incredible. So this is the IOD transfer that we will be working with today. It's called the Botanist. The IOD sisters are incredible. They make many, many, many different things. This transfer being one of them. I do have another transfer as well that I will be working with shortly. And I did again purchase this from jamierayvintage.com. She also has a YouTube channel as well, her and her husband. So I just took an X-Acto knife and just went across the top. Because it came exactly just like this in the tube. So you have this backing, this protective paper, and then the transfer up front. The paper helps for the transfer to not touch itself. If it does, it would just stick and, and just ruin, and we don't want that. So I placed it on top of my mirror and centered it exactly where I wanted it. And as you can see, it is a little bit longer than my mirror, but that's fine because the sisters, they are just geniuses and they came up with this graph on their transfers. So 
so you can cut it anywhere you want to. I wanted to save this little bud right here, so I decided to go up six graphs. So I went ahead and cut that off and placed it at the bottom of the mirror. And this is the tool that they give us to use to release the image from the transfer. So you can see that the two pieces are taped together, so I will be removing that tape. So I thought I was going to remove the protective paper from the back, but then I thought that's not a good idea because I need that bottom piece to line up right on top of that ledge right there. So I went up to the top and removed the backing from up there. It is idea, ideal to have two people doing this part because you can sort of hover over you know, your project and get it in the exact place without it sticking. Because once the transfer is on something, that's it. It's committed. So I just thought, okay, I'll just pull a little bit out at a time and just see how it goes. sure to keep an eye on the transfer itself that it stayed centered where I wanted it. And we're going to start down here at the bottom. With this tool, it's as simple as just going back and forth over the image. This being my first time, I really didn't know how firm to go over it, but I knew not to press too hard because I'm on top of a mirror and uh, we don't want that to crack. to remove more of the protective backing from the transfer. I have a feeling, actually I know I am going to love the outcome of this. As you're going over it, you can hear like crackling of the paper and that's perfectly fine. And then sometimes you'll see the bubbling up like a wave in the top piece. Oh, see, it's starting to work its magic. So you'll see these waves sometimes in the paper and that's perfectly fine. Sweet little honeybee. Much needed bees. Let's check it and it's working. You just keep going back and forth and back and forth. The hardest part of this project is really your nerves for the very first time anyhow you know not knowing you know how much pressure to put down is it going to work 
This is looking nicely. And as you can see, the top part, as it releases, it gets like a cloudy image to it to show that it is releasing. Now we're going to move over here to this corner and as you can see there are waves in the transfer and that's fine you just keep going. And just pay close attention to your edges, that you really go over the edges very well. So this project probably took me about 30 minutes total to do. You don't necessarily have to use the whole transfer like I just did. You, you can just cut out, you know, smaller images because she has such a wonderful graphing system on this transfer. But, um, you know, Bev, she just sort of has to go for the gusto and use the whole transfer. But it was a big mirror. I had to. coming off nicely. At this point, I was just so excited. I wanted it to be over already because I just knew when I peeled this paper back, the colors were just going to pop up against this frame. Oh, nice. It's looking good. I'm going to go over. I noticed that leaf wasn't attached real well. Just look at those colors. Absolutely gorgeous. Now again, as we're pulling back, if you see a piece of the transfer didn't come off, that's fine. You just put it right back on top and go over it with your tool. No worries at all.
the paper was getting stuck on the mirror down at the bottom because it was so close. Normally if something didn't stick, it was like an outer edge or lettering like up at the top right there. Just place it back over and go over it. Just a little bit more. Looks like a couple dots to the eyes didn't come off. We're just about halfway there. Just gorgeous. Just go back over it. It's just that simple. putting the paper back down and going over it a couple more times. Now after we finish this process right here, we're going to be doing something called burnishing. And this is a must step. We're going to use a lint-free cloth and we're just going to rub over the entire image and this is going to help smooth it out get out any air bubbles or any edges that might still be loose you just again go over it with a lint free cloth and it is a must must step because it helps the transfer to bond and there we have it we're finished Just look at that. Absolutely stunning. Just stunning. I am in love. And this is the burnishing pro process. Just use a lint free cloth and just rub over. It will not damage the image at all. And you'll hear a little popping and crackling. And here we have the most perfect botanical mirror.